On the southeast Georgia coast, about halfway between Jacksonville and Savannah, is the seaside resort community of St. Simons Island. It's roughly the size of Manhattan Island in New York. Centuries ago, this large barrier island was home to tribes of the Creek Nation. The land was contested by the Spaniards, English, and French until the British secured control of the Georgia colony in the 1740s by General James Oglethorpe. Later in the century, many of the island's ancient live oak trees were chopped down for the construction of American warships. From the time of the American Revolution to the outbreak of the Civil War, 14 plantations dominated the island, all cultivating Sea Island cotton utilizing slave labor. Tourism came to the island in the late 19th century, and people keep coming here for its natural beauty and its unique place in Georgia and American history. There's so much history here, it can be a little overwhelming. In this video, we're going to break it all down for you and tell you what you most need to see history-wise if you have limited time on the island. Today, seven fascinating historic attractions in St. Simons Island, Georgia. This 20 plus acre patch of land on the banks of the Frederica River is the gateway to St. Simon's Island. This is where the first British settlers to Georgia came ashore in the 1730s, including the dynamic duo of John and Charles Wesley, founders of the Methodist movement. We'll have more on the Wesleys at a later stop. No doubt this bluff with its dozens and dozens of stunning live oak trees has seen lots of history. But perhaps the most interesting piece of history related to this bluff is right now floating over a thousand miles north of here in Boston Harbor. For the story, we have to go back to the infancy of our nation. It was the 1790s and the US Navy was in search of sturdy lumber to build its first warship, the USS Constitution. Timber harvested from 2,000 live oak trees scattered across 60 acres was used in the ship's construction along with five other frigates under the Naval Act of 1794. The Constitution came to be known as Old Ironsides for the way the cannonballs bounced off the hard oak planking. The USS Constitution is the world's oldest commissioned naval vessel still afloat and can be toured when visiting Boston. There was another American icon that used timber from this bluff for its construction. That icon, the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City, built in the 1870s. Today, this park is a popular wedding and festival venue. Looking around, it's easy to see why. Some of the best surviving slave cabins in the South can be found here on St. Simon's Island. Utilizing a duplex plan to house more than one family, the cabins were originally part of a planned community of slave dwellings at Hamilton Plantation. They're made of tabby, a cement consisting of lime, water, and crushed oyster shells. The cabins have built-in windows and a central chimney. A local garden club has restored the cabins, furnishing them with authentic artifacts that illustrate the lives of 19th century slaves. The cabins are only open to the public during summer months or by special arrangement with the Garden Club.
The Christ Church congregation traces its origins to the 1730s, the earliest days of St. Simon's Island. The present Gothic-style building dates to the 1880s and is known for its narrow stained glass windows that commemorate the early history of the church and the island. The heavily wooded grounds are simply amazing, with a cemetery containing unmarked graves dating back to 1796. Adjacent to the church, you will find Wesley Memorial and Gardens. This two-acre garden of native plants and ancient live oaks is one of the most beautiful spots in Georgia. The centerpiece is an 18-foot Celtic stone cross, a fitting tribute to John and Charles Wesley and their early ministry on the island. These tabby walls are all that's left of Fort Frederica, a fortress and town constructed here under the direction of James Oglethorpe in 1736. Its purpose, protect the colony's southern boundary from Spanish invaders moving up from Florida. In the 1740s, this spot was a thriving village of around 500 folks. You can see the foundations of many of the buildings scattered across the property. Between 1739 and 1748, the fort was pivotal in the War of Jenkins's Ear, when Britain and Spain battled for control of the southeast. Today, this historic site is operated by the National Park Service, who protect what's left of the fortifications, barracks, and homes. A small museum helps tell the story of this place, and hiking trails are available for nature enthusiasts. This patch of land is known as the Bloody Marsh Battle Site. It was here on July 7, 1742, British and Scottish troops protecting colonial Georgia defeated a larger Spanish force. The marsh ran red with Spanish blood. Roughly 200 Spaniards were killed in the battle. The decisive victory on this hallowed ground ensured Georgia and the Carolinas would remain under British control. What you're looking at is the second lighthouse to operate on the island. The first was completed in 1808, made of mostly brick and tabby, and served many years before being destroyed by the Confederate Army in 1862. The current brick lighthouse was completed in 1872 and comes in at 104 feet. There's 129 steps to the top, providing panoramic views of the coast, including Jekyll Island, Brunswick, and the south end of St. Simons. Cannons Point Preserve is the largest intact maritime forest on St. Simons Island. It's rich in cultural and natural history. The peninsula has over six miles of salt marsh, tidal creek, and river shoreline that provide habitat for birds, fish, oysters, and manatee. Shell middens dating back to 2500 BCE are on the site, as well as the remains of a plantation home built by John Cooper in the 1800s. Cannons Point is only open Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There you have it, seven fascinating historic attractions in St. Simons Island, Georgia. This community is an excellent place to learn more about Georgia and early American history. I highly recommend it when you're in the area. Thank you so much for watching. From St. Simons Island, Georgia, happy gallivanting.